Your potential doom. I am Merlin, and you have come to my circle of magic. If you can survive the hazards of my arena, you shall be well rewarded. If you cannot, you will likely respawn and try again! Now go! Enter the arena! Can you survive the first round of the magic slaughter? As it has been balanced to be the easiest round, I would say yes! More than likely! Watch as I pull a massacre out of my hat. Traps! Roll acrobatics! Now you be careful, honey. It's fun, but it's, you get to like a steep of the game once it. I feel that, you know, this game, <clears throat> it told the story well. You know what I then immediately went game. back to the, after you beat the game, it goes immediately back into the Borderlands 2. Style grind, and I just don't feel like playing. So, 
you want to play the game for like four hours and kind of enjoy yourself, you can. Without like the sweat and grind that comes with it. And it would have been nice to see the entire world turn sky blue. It just seems like inside they kept that dark tex texture. Which it's alright, but kind of defeats the purpose of having like a different, unique world. I noticed that because the game is so small, I don't know why they like people have been saying that this was a so a DLC, and I can see why it was just additional four hours of gameplay. So to have it become like this whole separate entity is is new to me. Um. I would have to say, like the best thing about this game is the the is the soundtrack that you hear currently. It's a very unique soundtrack, such so as the uh, best out of the entire game series, in my personal opinion. It gives off like a wizardy, um, wizards and dragon vibe, but also kind of reminds me of like, Japan in like the 1700s. Whenever you used to play the song. Put it next to like a moving character. Um, the weapon design. I'm assuming this was made before Borderlands 3 was released. This is judging the cover. This is the thumbnail of the series. But I'm assuming this was all released before Borderlands 3 came out. It should have just been a DLC. I don't know why they made like this whole separate game. It's not long enough to be a separate game. Four hour gameplay is not, uh, in my opinion, a video game. It's just something that should have been DC. And I think it would have been nice as a player. I think it would have been nice to see this as a DLC than a whole separate game. You know, simply because you kind of like wonder what the effects of Roland dying Bloodwind dying in Borderlands 2 would have affected the characters in Borderlands 3. You don't get that, it's like a whole different storyline. So I'm happy that it was implemented into this game, which was in DLC format. Like, if you play, I never played Game of Year Edition, which is Vision Borderlands, I only played PC. But what took place in Game of Year Edition affected the game in pre-sequel and then pre-sequel affected Borderlands 2 and so initially when I played Borderlands 3 I thought that was missing because there was no context of collection of uniqueness that came with you know Borderlands 3 like there was no association of what happened in Borderlands 2 in Borderlands 3 and it's still a big piece of missing information here like, nobody ever, you know, focuses on the Hyperion, like what happened to Hyperion after Handsome Jack died, you know, did it still remain as like this big thing, also they never really stretched on the Sepadon army invasion, you know, they could have like, focused on that storyline a bit more, um, like in Borderlands 3, you get like Atlas. I forgot the other company. It was just basically corporations fighting each other at that point. Um, this game's okay. It was it was initially nice to have the ability to just focus on storyline while also having fun. I feel like the skeletons, while unique mobs, doesn't allow for room for like inventiveness simply because nobody really knows what will work good against the skeleton truth to you know you have like movies try to like get an idea but nobody really knows um but no the the storyline was solid the gameplay was standard borderlands it just became like grindy after the completion of the game and, you know, that immediate transition is there, and 
kind of wish they just kind of kept this simple, where the game is not so brutal. Like, yeah, I can go in and turn on the easy mode, but that doesn't. I'm on the keyboard now. That doesn't like help the fact. Let's see. Look at things. That doesn't help the fact that these are some chunky maps that go on forever. You know, the weapons are standable on us too. I wish I knew what this did. This could be just like a mission item for something special later, but I don't really know. Um, I actually wanted to play this class more. That's why I had the intention of uh, playing it more. There's nothing that um, in okay, so they nerfed it, which is kind of silly. But in Borderlands 2, one kill would it could have been in Borderlands 3, but one kill would add on to your uh, sentry gun, so you can like fire. Um, Pull, you know, so it can beat up a lot longer, and it seems like that is not here in this game. You know, I ain't getting that back. You know, this game has a lot of potential, it's just the maps are too big. Like, if I cut out, I'm not gonna do it too, but if I cut out all the time I spent running around just to figure out what the mission was and get to that mission, it'd probably be like a, mm, probably about two hours of gameplay after gameplay. Like the hours just me running from place to place, figuring out what things are. Some of the missions that they click on the world and get to, that was just so dumbfounded, like how to ask this thing. I also personally enjoy YouTube. Man. Like I like the fact that a video is caused. Also like the uh Thanks socks I'm not stuck in the golden mine. But also I like this stuff over here. I just wish it would have been picked up on that. Like it's still not a, a thing implemented in any of the games. This is creepy. Welcome, welcome. But Basically, you know, this is cool. Okay, I wonder if the weapons do go up eventually. I don't think so. Farewell. But, there's not that many real weapons in this game. I just wish your video and oh, this stuff got picked up automatically yeah, instead of me, like, just constantly searching the ground for it. You know what I love um, about this village? But technically, I would have played all of the Borderlands games except for Game Edition. Like this should be easy out here. It's broad daylight. Yeah. So I don't know what two four two is trying to accomplish with this. It's unique. Just trying, I'm just kind of like confused yeah. why this was his own super game, should have been DLC because it would it would have tied in with Borderlands 2 well. Actually, you can't even go with it anymore, that's wild. Yeah, there's no way to access this point of the map, it's even like it's complete. Server. I mean, yeah, I could probably jump it, but it's still like it's. There's no way to access this anymore. Also, I noticed that the sound's been broken for a while. If you die in Tina's imagination, you die for real. So yeah, it's it's interesting, you know. Um, I guess they took out the uh, no, they took out the direction of this. Of course, 
pistols. Look at that. Not even that great. I, I get it because it's purple. Wasn't so challenging. Ew. But no, it's just like, um. You know, just a lot of. This for a game this size, but you see, there's a lot of empty space. You know. Like in Borderlands 2, 3, and PC, Moxie's little bar has always been like a super. Like pronounced, but the, the, you know, the stuff's like way over here. And I don't find it interesting. It's not the main quest. I mean, just quest, but it's just, it's just small. So, why well, I've said it multiple times, it's just the question is why well, was this own little standalone game? Unless they were trying to make extra money. This is what it really seems like to be honest. No, I'm not too fortunate. Games, and I could have, I could have, like, invested. Wait. This is cool. Some cool little skins here. I'm not gonna knock it. It's just the special edition is not blind. It was like winter, winter where it were. Yeah. Just like this is a reference to somewhere I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. it's just yeah. not really much to say about this game. It was fun. Yeah. Well, the story was yeah. one main story was being was able to be played. Um, some of it a little bit uninspired, but eh, I guess it, it was it was a free game, to me, so I guess we'll end it off right here in this picture. I just wish this whole area wasn't infested yeah. anymore. You know, you know, I just like. Hell sensitive. Originally, my sensitivity was turned up for a different game. That's why it's so high. But I don't play that game anymore. It's like a siege. But no, at some point, I was, like, I was like, ah, I'll get this in there. But after playing it and realizing it's gonna go straight to the Borderlands 2 sweat mechanic, I'm like, Fun game though, while it lasted.